We are given this in proper integral, the integral from 1 to infinity, 1 over e to the x dx, it converges. And we would like to know which of these improper integrals also converges. But then we're not going to integrate all these integrals from scratch. Instead, we're just going to use a given information together with the complacency theorem to make a decision. Remember, sometimes it may be really hard, sometimes it's not possible, such as this one, to integrate. But then the complacency theorem says, don't worry, because if you just want to make a decision on if an improper integral converges or not, these are the checks that we can do. So the first situation is, if we have an improper integral, if we can show that this is less than or equal to a convergent network you know. Remember, convergent means we are going to have a finite area. If we have something that's smaller than a finite area, that means this right here has to be finite as well. It's smaller than the finite, right? And that will imply this has to converge. On the other hand, if we have an improper integral that's bigger than or equal to a divergent integral that we already know. And you can think about divergent as infinite area, infinity. So you have a, if you have something that's bigger than or equal to infinity, that means this right here has to be even bigger, right? A bigger size infinity. And that will say this right here has to be uh, divergent. And that's the idea of the comparison theorem. And now what we need to do is we'll just compare all these three with the given convergent integral. And I'm just going to check the inequalities. So I'm going to check choice A. So the integral from choice A is the integral from 1 to infinity x over e to the x dx. And because we are given the convergent, I would like to know if this is less than or equal to a convergent that we already know. So I will just write down, I would like to know if this is less than or equal to, so I put a question mark, the given convergent, 1 to infinity, 1 over e to the x dx. If this is true, that will imply choice A, this improper integral has to converge as well. But then let's just work this out. First of all, these two integrals, they are both going from 1 to infinity, so I can just compare the functions inside. That's x over e to the x. I don't know if this is less than or equal to 1 over e to the x. I would like to just check this inequality for x is greater than or equal to 1 because we are here from 1 to infinity. And then because I'm saying x is greater than or equal to 1, notice that this side of the expression, it will be positive, so is this. So I'm going to just make a remark right here. These two things are both greater than or equal to 0. I want to say that so that I can cross-multiply without any worry. I don't need to switch the inequality sign because everything is positive. And if this is true, that means the cross-product will also be true. That's why I want to do that. So I'm going to check x times e to the x, let me write it down right here, is this less than or equal to 1 times e to the x, which is just e to the x. Is this true? But then, well, you can see right now if you would like, but let's just divide both sides by e to the x, and you see that they cancel out because e to the x is never 0, so I get to just cancel them out, and I get to cancel them out. e to the x is always positive, and I don't need to uh, switch the inequality. So, if this is true, that means x has to be less than or equal to 1. But is, le uh, is x less than or equal to 1? It's not, because here we are saying x is greater than or equal to 1. So you see the contradiction right here. So you see that this inequality doesn't hold. So that means I cannot use the comparison theorem to make a decision on choice A. However, this improper integral may still converge, but I don't know. I don't know unless I do more work. At the moment, I just know that I cannot use the comparison theorem to say this also converge. So that's the idea, because this inequality doesn't hold. And now I just have to work out um, the other choices, and let me work out choice C for you guys first. So I will check choice C. So the improper integral that we have is the integral from 1 to infinity, 1 over e to the x minus 1 dx. I'm going to see if this is less than or equal to a convergent. So once again, same thing right here. So I'm going to put down that. 1 to infinity, 1 over e to the x dx. And then both of these integrals are going from 1 to infinity, so I can just compute the functions inside. So that means I'm just going to check 1 over e to the x minus 1. Is this less than or equal to 
1 over e to the x for the x value um, 1 to infinity, so x greater than or equal to 1. And now what can we do? And once again, if x is greater than or equal to 1, notice that on the bottom here, because x is greater than 1, that means we have e to the 1 or bigger, right? And then minus 1, this side is always going to be positive, so I can say everything is positive once again. And I want to do that so that I can just do the cross product to see if uh, the inequality still holds or not. If this is the same, that means 1 times e to the x, which is just e to the x, is this less than or equal to e to the x minus 1. Well, you see that we have e to the x on both sides, but then here we have e to the x minus 1. You see that right away this is false, but then if you want to make it more clear, I can subtract e to the x on both sides in this situation. They cancel, they cancel. I'm subtracting, so this is 0, and this is less than or equal to negative 1. And you see that this is clearly a false inequality because 0 is not less than or equal to negative 1. This is smaller. That's actually bigger. So once again, you see that choice C, I cannot use the comparison theorem to decide if this converges or not. However, it may still converge. I just don't know about that yet because I'm just using the comparison theorem for this. So the last thing I'm going to do is choice B. And you know why I want to do choice B last because that's the answer. But let me just show you how this works. So I will just say, let me check choice B right here. That's the integral we have, which is the integral from 1 to infinity, 1 over e to the x plus x dx. I would like to know if this is less than or equal to a convergent, which is that one that we already know, 1 over e to the x dx. Same thing again, because both of these integrals are going from 1 to infinity, I can just compute the functions inside. Here we have 1 over e to the x plus x. I would like to know if this is less than or equal to 1 over e to the x for x is greater than or equal to 1. And once again, everything would be positive, so that's nice. Is this true? If it is true, the cross product will also be true. That means 1 times e to the x, which is just e to the x, is that less than or equal to 1 times e to the x plus x? You can see that this is true already because both of them have e to the x. And then on the right hand side, you're adding a positive number because x is greater than or equal to 1, right? So you can just say it's true because you have this right here. So that's okay. But if you would like, you can subtract e to the x to just kind of simplify these inequalities as much as you can. I'm subtracting, so this right here will be 0. And this is less than or equal to positive x. And as you can see, this right here has to be a true inequality since right here we already said that x is greater than or equal to 1. So as you can see, this inequality right here holds. That means we can use the complete theorem to conclude that this improper integral that we are dealing with right here, this right here has to converge based on the given information and also the comparison theorem. That's it.